lines moving forward, and I'm going to win this battle. Easily. Part of the war in the east that was supposed to happen that was Persia and Palat, but it didn't happen. Maybe I maybe I put it on a delay. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't remember this the my own stuff. They were supposed to get involved in that. And that was the reference to uh, other countries in the area being. do end up giving uh, troops to Rome. It's just going to be basic infantry units. Okay, the reason I want to give troops to Rome is for one thing, so that Rome will have some troops. It's, and it's so that I, uh, they can um, take this territory. If I uh, if I leave... If I, if I take this territory, it becomes n uh, neutral foreign territory that I can't walk through. Um, which will impede my progress. And it also makes it so that I beat the Germans, the Medinans can just walk straight out of it um, and capture their own stuff and I, that I can't recapture. So, um, I want uh, Rome to be able to take control of it. So, yeah, that's, that's my logic at least. Now you guys can move over to here. there yet so we're almost to the border here and then I can stop and reorganize which is a good idea I'm really glad Switzerland's in the way <laughs> actually it doesn't look like they have a lot of troops here but Forgetting that there's a, a unit there I could actually potentially be using for the battle. Battles. Yeah, and what I'm going to do when it gets down here is I'm just going to just go around. I'm going to take Roman territory up to here, and then take this, and then go down like this. And I'll see what I have to do there. But, uh, three more days for the African thing. Aren't guys here yet? Shouldn't take that long. No. What else? Okay. I 
I need to build transports. Uh, oh, I finished a bunch of production. Um, let's build some convoys. Let's fill that out. Who, who can attack here? The only one guy who can attack here. There we go. Um, two should be enough for this, actually. Considering the kind of resistance we're running into. These guys need leaders. Thirty-three, twenty-seven, thirty-five. I'm gonna go here instead. Oh, they're twenty minutes, so oops. Go here. We'll land one guy up there. So, my African troops should be here in place. Yes, there we go. Okay, so let's send these guys this way. No, this way. Let's militia this way. And this way. Okay, so the colonial action, the colonial stuff's doing pretty well. Big wave of troops is almost here. You know what? Let's put. Three of them here. The rest of them there. And all these guys. Oh man, if I could get it, that encircled, that would be great. But I'm not going to. Um, I could try interdicting one. I'm 
archers there. There we go. Awesome. I'm going to be there in the 11th of February. Dang, I can't tell when they're going to be there. Okay. That was the war going on. Badly for Mongolia. Badly for Turkey, wow. Japan just landed a bunch of dudes. So they haven't gotten involved yet. I was thinking of trying to get Azerbaijan on my side so that we don't have this problem when the uh, war with the common turn starts. Alright, let's not beat around the bush here. Well, now let's wait until we have all of our troops in place. And the 21st for the other one. Okay. Oh, I got troops here. Consider the fact that, like, a lot of these are actually new troops. Probably more than half of these troops down here are new troops that I've produced since the beginning of the war. So that's that's pretty overwhelming. Um, and Germany is just losing troops right now. Fighting on two fronts. And losing badly. Well, actually, there's like three fronts, but... Um, just consider this the Western Front. I and mean, they're losing over here. Good news for us. Actually, they're kind of fighting on a southern front here, too. And they're definitely going to be fighting on one here. Eventually. Eventually. I think the best way to do this would be to attack Toronto here. Or, like, block this. Like, do an invasion here. Um, and just get to Toronto to make sure I have a fort. Like, get this right here. Since that's, like, the shortest distance. And then just southern, capture southern Italy as fast as I can. Okay. Faster game. I'm actually running this at a significantly higher speed than I was expecting to. 
I kind of expected it to play very low speed, like two, most of the time. But, uh, having to fight in mountains and foreign territory all the time really slows me down. So, well, that's I guess that's nice. Well, I don't know why it's nice that it slows me down. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I can't find the logic in that. Never mind. It's just I'm stupid. You guys are ready. I even released those troops that didn't. Okay. take all those guys out because it's not really matter. Well, 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 I'll leave one one unit there, or two units there. Just so Germany doesn't get the same idea I did. Although they don't really have a fleet that they can attack me with, just undersea boats. Taking uh, Roman territory. What's going on here? What do you get? What you get? Twenty hours. Unpleasant. I guess I could start uh, working on this now. The reason why I put so many guys here was to do this and attack them from multiple directions. Actually, want to? Well, yeah, capturing that province. Is okay. I think that's actually an Octavian province. Ooh, well, that was fast. 